Okay, hi guys. And you can't see me. No. Um, I've just got to work. No, this is not my camping video. I literally finished camping this afternoon, got home and got called into work. So I had a quick uh, change and a shower and packed some of the gear away. Had a one hour sleep and came straight into work. Um, I got a message on uh, through Facebook from a friend of mine in Switzerland. Uh, my friend Matthias Bart. He, um, I sent him a backpack, a uh, a Vanquest, the V Slinger. It's a backpack for photographers. Um, you can put all your camera gear in it, and you can sling it around the front and get easy access to it. Now, I've had it for I don't know just over three years. It was uh, gifted to me from Vanquest uh, to do a review on it and I've been using it <clears throat> on and off so it is a second hand product it's not new it's in good condition because I look after my gear now my friend Matthias um, some weeks back uh, went out to the countryside I believe to do um, a quick little hike up a mountain and came back and found that his car had been broken into uh, all of his gear was stolen which he had it in there and it just happened that day he had all of his camera gear in there because he's um, he's a semi or semi-professional or professional photographer so thousands of dollars worth of camera gear was stolen his laptop was stolen he's recently gone into uh, business uh, for himself uh, he's got his own I believe he's studied law and he's a lawyer now and it was his work laptop with all his contacts and all work information that was stolen. Um, tons of stuff was stolen. Um, and I'm thinking, I have to send them something. Now this backpack, uh, it's just a backpack, you know, nothing spectacular, uh, nothing worth a lot of money. And I told him just to help him out, I sent him something small. Uh, I wanted it to be a surprise, but he now knows what's coming because it was intercepted by customs and they have basically asked him to he's got to pay tax on it he's got to pay tax on a gift which is a second-hand product and it's infuriating to say the least it's just such a, such a bitch of a thing to do it um sorry i'm at work obviously I'll just turn the radio down um, it also happened to another friend of mine in the UK. I sent him a guitar which was damaged and I did a, some repairs to it and shipped it to him. I left a tag on it. Uh, it was an Ibenza, uh, Ibenza Spider. I can't remember. But I left a tag on it. So Customs intercepted it and thinking it's a brand new item told Scott he had to pay tax on it. Now the same things happen again to um, Matthias. I have received a letter from customs. Those, I won't say the expletive, they want me to prove the price of the content to know how much they should tax me. I'll call them on Monday to see how I can manage this as of course they are closed and he has to wait the weekend, yeah. My reply, it was a gift. If you get their email, I can send them a message saying so and that it's also not new but second hand. I'll send uh, you the email address. I'll call them on Monday. I have a paper to sign and send away to them so that's why I'll call them anyway. Those customs make me so nervous even for gifts they want to tax and get a little money uh, as they can uh, worse than vultures so because he had to go in and actually give them a value of the item 
um, because yeah, I, I, be I put going. gift and then I put an estimated value and I can't even remember what was on there. Uh, so I had to tell him what it was. Now he was expecting just a small gift because I sent him a photo of a small box, an empty box basically, because I wanted to surprise him. So I told him it's my Vanquest backpack. Um, and I sent him a link and also told him I didn't want to tell you but you should know because they are asking you to pay also I have the video on my channel containing that specific backpack so they can see that it's over three years old now I don't know if they'll actually investigate it or whether they'll just say it doesn't matter it's something that we're going to tax so you have to pay but either way it's it's getting so bad. Um, it's getting so bad nowadays that even the Australian government are thinking about taxing people for purchasing items on eBay. Don't know how they're going to do that. How they're going to police it? How they're going to enforce it? But you know, governments—they just screw us all over. They just want their money. Here in Australia, at least, if you win the lotto, if you win a million dollars on the lotto, you get given a million dollars. In America, in America, if you win a million dollars, you have to pay tax on it because they're classified as earnings, even though it's a gift. And it's called a gift tax. The bastards. Sorry. Um, yeah. So Matthias had. Thousands and thousands of dollars worth of camera gear um, stolen from him, um, and his work laptop and hard drives and all just all the accessories that go with cameras. Um, his name on YouTube is um, Pinewood C H uh, P I N E W O O D C H. So. If you don't know him, uh, he's heavily into bushcraft. Uh, he's in Switzerland, so go check him out and give him a thumbs up and tell him I sent you. All right, thanks for watching, guys. See ya. Sorry, it's just a rant video. I just need to get off my chest. Customs, eh?